everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new please do consider subscribing and if you're returning welcome back so it's november's finished pages today so i'm gonna start off with intricate ink animals in detail by tim jeffs this is one of the first ones that i did for the month i've not done as much this month um you might have heard me talk about it in some past videos that i did injure my back this month so i was sort of not colouring for a good two and a half weeks i want to say not really i did a little bit on the couch that's why i've got lots of pdf pages this month but let's get straight into it so the first one i did in here was this lima so i actually started this one on a live stream and we had a little vote on his name and he is called larry so this one was done with I think I did it with the Tombow Erogeton pencils. I do want to say I did, but it was a long time ago now. It feels like forever since I coloured this page. Um, but I did do it on the channel, so the colours that I used are linked in the description of the video of this one. Really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. I did put some blue underneath the black areas on the tail to create a little bit more depth and interest it puts a bit more richness into it i think yeah really really cute really fun pages i do really like these books by tim jeffs and i prefer these hardback um editions over the new ones um these used to be published by pomegranate is it pomegranate and now he independently publishes them so they're not hardbacks anymore any of his recent books that you see come out they aren't the ad backs so if you want one like this it will be black it will have a black cover on it and it will be hard back but i believe this one is hard to get hold of now there might be a few private sellers on amazon selling it but it's the one with the most pages in as well i think this one's got around 50 pages or something like that it might have more i think it has more actually it's really quite thick this one but yeah, that was my little Lima in Tim Jeff's Animals in detail. Next up are all my PDF pages. <laughs> so it was easier. I've done this one. It was very much easier to print a PDF page off, put it on a clipboard and sit on the couch with all the cushions behind my back and just work a little bit of it at a time on each page. And that's how I've you know been able to colour at least something this month otherwise I wouldn't have had anything to show you I don't think other than Malima. <laughs> so this one is a page by Christine Karen it is called Jewel Thief you can get this on her Etsy store I'll try and link all the um Etsy shops in the description of this video as well so the background I did on a um sort of easy background idea video and it was just alcohol markers, so it was just literally drawing circles with alcohol markers. Now, I did do another one previously before this with the same background but different colours and I prefer it over this one. Um, this one, I felt like I used the wrong colours. I didn't really like the blues on this page with how I'd coloured every, everything else afterwards. Um, so just very recently, I did add the black washi tape just because we had a few white areas down the outsides that I wanted to cover up and I felt like it brought some black from my clothing into the background which makes the blue in the background not look quite as odd it sort of brings it together a little bit more um but yeah I did originally go in with white gel pen for all these little sparkles but it was obviously taking on the colour of the alcohol marker underneath so it kept turning blue so i have even tried to go in with some uh, white acrylic paint and it's even doing the same thing with that so i don't know it's a losing battle i think <laughs> it's a losing battle so yeah but I've, i do really like the way i've coloured the lady i had a little issue with the clothing because i started with the derwent colour soft pencils on the clothing now those pencils I normally really enjoy colouring with, um, they're a pencil I really enjoy but for some reason I don't know whether it was just on this paper or whether they're like that in general and I haven't noticed before but they wouldn't do any more than two layers. I sort of put a, a soft, was it a soft peach? Of a light peach and then a peach 
and then I was trying to go over the top with the greys put, to put the lacy you know if sheer effect over the top and it was just sliding everywhere the pencil wasn't going down it wouldn't do a third layer it absolutely would not do a third layer so then I ended up switching my pencils to the Faber Castell polychromos on the face I was over it at that point but I did do a time lapse of me colouring all of this page as well so I will link that in the description as well if I remember hopefully I remember so that's that one by Christine Cameron next up so this is the other page I was talking about where the background works a bit better on this page I think I really like the overall look of this one and it really does look very Christmassy and very pretty so this one is by Daria Draws and I don't know if she's called Ginger she sort of had two names I think it was called Ginger the PDF and then in the description it said cute elf girl so I'm not sure if it is actually called Ginger or cute elf girl this page or maybe both let me get comfy on my chair <laughs> Yeah, so this was based with alcohol markers. So I always use my Winsor & Newton Pro markers. Um, so I based everything with that. The hat, the skin, the hair, everything. And then I went over the top with pencil detailing. And then just to add a little bit more interest on the feather, I did white gel pen. So I created little flowers up there on the feather. And then I put a few little white white freckles on a face but I really like that one it might be one of my favorites this month just because it's you know it's nearly Christmas and it's fun and I really enjoyed doing it so the background with the alcohol markers was the first time I tried it on this page I normally do something like that with soft pastels um, but I thought why not give it a go with alcohol markers I was sat on the couch again with the cushions behind me I thought I can't really get my pan pastels out because I'm going to make a mess on my couch <laughs> so I thought what can I grab that's easy alcohol markers and I just decided to do this so I think it works really well on this page really well so that's Stereo Gerard's again I'll try and link that in the description her Etsy shop oh I'm out of breath can you tell I'm not used to all this talking should have brought a drink up so the next one is another one by Stereo Gerard's so this one is this dragon girl no this is viking girl viking girl yeah so this one i did another tutorial on the tutorial was a textured watercolor background so if you're interested in that that is on the channel as well so it was just to create texture with watercolor so i basically just put one block color of watercolor all in the background and then i got a slightly darker shade and I literally just dotted it on and moved it around a little bit. And that was it. It was really, really easy. But it looks really effective. I think it looks really gorgeous. And I think I'm going to do that again on another colouring page this month. But obviously, maybe different colours. Maybe different colours. I really love how the hair turned out on this. And I think it was the Polychromos pencils. I think it was the ivory. The green gold and it, it'll have been something like a brown ochre as well as something no it was the nugget it was nugget i think yeah i think it was ivory green gold and nugget was it or was it an ochre anyway if you go and find that video of the easy watercolor background i did actually put what pencils i'd used for the hair in that video so if you're interested in the combo it, it is somewhere my memory doesn't serve me very well clearly um, I really love doing the armour on this one as well. Um, I really did take inspiration from the coloured version on Daria's Etsy store. So on her illustration I could see that she'd used some sort of burgundy tones in there and some brown ochres throughout the dragon and then obviously your greys. So I tried to emulate that and then I put lots of little highlighting details here and there. Um, the border was done with a Renaissance um, watercolour, very shiny and metallic, and just white gel pen detailing dotted around here and there. But I really like that one as well. Really like that one. So that's Daria Draws again. 
Another one from Terry Adoras, you can just tell I've been really enjoying her illustrations this month, is this one. So this is Dragon Girl. Dragon Girl, and I wanted to go for blue themes on this one. So I did some of this on the live stream as well, right at the beginning of the month. Or did I do it all on the live stream? No, I didn't do it all. I didn't do it all. I'd already done the hair and skin, I think. And I think on the live stream... I did the jacket, the dragons, and the background. I think that was it. But how cute is she? It was a really fun one to do as well. So I will link the paper that I use in the description. It is a 160 GSM, and it does take watercolour quite nicely. Occasionally, I do get the 180 GSM paper as well, just to switch it up a bit. But yeah, this was fun. Polychromos pencils again. And then the watercolour... The blue watercolour was the Prima watercolour, I think. And then this silver is the liquid chrome from Renaissance. Really nice. Really nice, but I love that one. It's not very often I do hair like this. Like really blue, blue hair. So it was really fun. It's a really blue and grey themed page, that one. Colour palette. But yeah, Debbie draws again. So the next one, you might have seen this one. This was a split body colour with Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free. So we both started this page and we coloured half of it and then I drove to Debbie's house and we switched the pages and then we coloured the second half of it. So Debbie's is on this side, the left hand side. Very, very nice. I like the colours she's gone for on the skin. I think it's very whimsical. Very whimsical and I like the shine she's got in the hair as well. And I think she's used, I don't know, I'm not sure which brand of watercolour she's used in the background, but it's really, really nice. Really nice metallic-y colours all around the edge. Look at those pinks and greens, bluey greens. But it's gorgeous. And then I did this side. So I based it with alcohol markers, went in with a bit of pencil detailing. This was the Renaissance watercolour. Um, I splashed some of it on the background, put some of it in the flower, and a bit of white gel, gel pen detailing. But I will pop the other version up here now. So on this one, I've coloured the left side of the page. So this side, on this one I've coloured, and I've coloured this side. Beautiful, and I really had so much fun doing that. It was a bit more time, time and effort to, you know, sort of get both sides filmed and and um, driving up to Debbie's and swapping the pages. It was a bit more effort, but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. I think everyone enjoyed watching that one, and I really enjoyed doing it as well. So there we go. That's Mr. Kurt Mirrors, because I forgot to say. That is Mr. Kurt Mirrors. You can probably find this on a Etsy shop. So next up I did a page in Mouse Guards. This was a very last minute page for me. I noticed I coloured a lot of PDFs and not much in my colouring books. So I thought, which book can I pick up that's going to be quick, easy and fun? And I thought Mouse Guards. Now I want to give a big shout out to Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free, um, who's influenced me to pick the colours for this page. So in her latest um, completed colouring pages video, which I'll pop in the description of this one, so go check it out. Um, she did do quite a few pages where she's um, gone out of the norm, should we say. So say you think of a mouse and you think, oh, greys or browns, those sort of tones. But what about if you did a green mouse? What if, about if you did a blue mouse or a pink mouse? And she was trying to, trying to you know, say that, Things don't have to be coloured how they are naturally. So I took inspiration from that and I did this page. So thank you, Debbie, for the idea, if I can find it. And I did this one. So you can see I've got pink mice, because <laughs> why not? Why not? So I originally based all of it with the Derwent Inktense pencils. Now, I love those pencils in this book. I absolutely love them and then I went in with pencil detailing over the top the only area where I didn't need to do pencil detailing was the flower uh, not the flowers the butterflies 
um because i originally went in with two shades of derwent ink tents and mixed them together on the page and they turned out really really nice um the rest of the shading was done with my pencils over the top and then we got the liquid chrome again from renaissance and we splatted it on the background so we've got all these stars <laughs> and i went a bit crazy with that um but yeah i love this page I really do love it so thank you to Debbie for the idea for this one because I don't think this would have turned out quite as pretty if I'd have done it in your usual grey tones because if you look at some of the other pages I've done um, I do tend to go for a grey mouse in these books so that's the usual theme that I go for and you'll be able to see in my other pages as well that again a grey mouse again another grey mouse and there is one at the front where i've done him grey again so it's been really really nice to just say you know what just go out, go out your comfort zone take it pink purple blue green you know it doesn't have to be um as debbie said it doesn't have to be your usual colors so I'm really really chuffed with that page actually it might be one of my favorites and that's it guys that's it that's all I've got done this month with my dodgy back. Hopefully I can get a few more done this month, but I'm not holding my breath because it's Christmas, five kids, lots of celebrating and organising. And so we'll see what the month brings. We'll see what the month brings. So thank you so much to, what, to everybody for watching, for commenting, for subscribing. Please do drop me a comment down below. Let me know which is your favourite page. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.